Black lives don't matter, black money do. I stand with Palestine and this is the reason why. You killing black people in America the same way that you killing Palestinians over in, Pal in Gaza. You ain't treating us no different than you treated us when we came to this country. You treating us like property. You traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and you made my black community the cash crop. That's Governor O'Malley. That's my store on Falls Road. I'm writing you this because I need your help. All right. I was making a movie about Governor O'Malley and the, the Democratic Party. It's a Hollywood production. All right. It's a Hollywood production. That's Ozzie Newsom from the Baltimore Ravens, and that's my store on Falls Road. All right. That's my store on Falls Road. That's me. 2021 Weaver Award winner. I went home on vacation and came back on probation. I've been locked up in two different states for making a documentary about Baltimore, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, and your prison industry. That's Maryland's prison industry, Governor O'Malley and Brown's money machine, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, social media for social change. That's President Trump, and President Trump sent the Secret Service to my house, all right? Baltimore City put guns to my head. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. That's President Biden. See who that is? Well, I'm getting ready to send this to David Trone. I support David Trone for Senate. I don't support Asselbrook. That black girl magic caused a lot of black men pain. That first black this, that first black that, it's the haves versus the have-nots, and we ain't having it no more. This is August 2015. Arson promotion in Baltimore, arson promotion in New York, arson promotion in Philadelphia, and arson promotion in Chicago, making a documentary about being black in America. And that's Mayor Brandon Scott. I was on the House of Cards. I was the cook. That's Ozzie Newsom in the Baltimore Ravens. Like I said, I'm weaving in Baltimore. I went from Baltimore's worst to Baltimore's best. And it wasn't easy, but I did it. I'm with Runners for Justice. And I'm putting this in the book. It's a time to pee. Did you use the toilet today? You're going to think about me tomorrow. That's Brent Jones from the Baltimore Sun. That's ABC2 News cameraman. And that's Chuck D. and Shorty about the prison industry. We was at the Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. Chuck D. and Shorty. You feel me? It's art and activism. The art of protest. I took that toilet all over and I made my sons carry that toilet. That's my son, Neil. And that's my son, Philip. You feel me? And that's Bob Ehrlich. And that's Governor Hogan. I'm a black Republican. I'm a black radical Republican. And I joined the Republican Party to deal with racism. That's Johnny Oleski. All right. That's Johnny Oleski. I got mail receipts. That's Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. Show you how long I've been doing this. And that's the toilet you locked me up for. I'm still building toilets. That's the Baltimore toilet in Washington, D.C. You want to stop the violence? You got to end the war on drugs. You got to have a ceasefire. When you got a war, you got to have a ceasefire. You got a war on drugs, and that war on drugs been a war on the black community since 1971 when Richard Nixon wrote the Southern Strategy in Washington, D.C. That's come out of motion. Y'all locked me up and charged me with terrorism. I'm an activist. This is a jailhouse diary. The Maryland High Court weighs fees and waivers for police records. Well, we going after your records. That's Attorney General Anthony Brown, and he ain't said nothing about this yet. I'm letting y'all walk in my footsteps. That's Eric Barron from the Department of Justice. And that's David Trone. We talk about criminal justice reform. Well, I'm a whistleblower on the criminal justice system. And Eric Barron got that information. That's a jailhouse diary from 2007. A jailhouse diary shows the treatment of inmates. All right. Like I said, art and activism. I'm weaving the social fabric. I'm a weaver in Baltimore. A nation of weavers. Remember that Stop Snitching video? Well, I put it all on film. You go directly to Senator Benjamin Brooks. Go to Benjamin Brooks and get all my paperwork. Because if I end up dead, I'm not Daryl DeSouter. I'm not Robert Clay. I didn't commit suicide. I was killed by the Baltimore City Police. I was killed because of this documentary. But since I'm alive and breathing, social media for social change. That's Benjamin Brooks. And that's Jared Jimenez.
go to jail, go directly to jail. Jared Dementes need to go to jail. We talking about voter suppression from the 2010, 2014, and 22 elections. And Jared Dementes got that. Go to J Benjamin Brooks and get that. Community chess. Collect $200. I'm getting ready to pass gold. I support Johnny Oleski. All right? I don't support Nick Mosby because Nick Mosby's part of this. He part of the cover-up crew. Like I said, I got you all on tape. I got Ivan Bates on tape. And that's Ivan Bates. So Ivan Bates, you got to turn over everything. This is like Operation Greylord in Chicago. Because I'm from Chicago. Operation Greylord. It's called entrapment. That truck that y'all took was a trap car. Well, the contents of that vehicle was worth $250 million. Y'all got to pay for that. Ivan Bates, you're going to get a lot of cases reversed and remanded. It's going to be the most scandalous thing that you ever did see. And you're a part of it. You was in the movie We Got a Monster. Well, dog, I beat the beast. That's Jill P. Carter. That's Mayor Pugh. When Mayor Pugh went to jail, she know what the toilet means. You got to share that toilet with an inmate. Mayor Pugh, my friend. That's Cheryl Glenn. She went to jail, too. And she getting ready to go to jail. It's a time to pee. When you go to jail, you got to share that toilet with the inmate. I'm going to share that toilet with the world. That's Governor Westmore. And that's Natasha from the Public Defender's Office. And that's Stephanie Smith. You feel me? That's Stephanie Smith. Delegate Stephanie Smith. I'm talking about Monopoly, the Cheaters Edition. All right? So, Governor Westmore, you got this information. Activism isn't against the law. This is Monopoly. And this is the way the board is set up. All right? Go past gold. See the luxury tax? You got to go from here to here. And this is the valuable property because this is the ghetto. That's the cheapest property. And everybody got to work around the board. So I'm talking about Monopoly, the cheater's edition. So Governor Westmore, you got information as well. You got a box. That box got a flag. Everything in that box you got to make available to the voters or that makes you parties to a crime. Ask Eric Barron, Department of Justice. Yeah, ask Judge Bennett, Judge Badar, Judge Cox. If you go directly to Jane Miller today, I team. Yeah, I team got it. Jane Miller. I gave it to her yesterday in front of everybody. Social media for social change. If Scott Schellenberger can lie, then Scott Schellenberger can go to jail. Y'all getting ready to prosecute a t uh, gym teacher about the Pikesville incident? They used AI. Scott Schellenberger just lied. You feel me? He simply lied. And this is it. That's we talking about Jim Crow. That's Scott Schellenberger. Prosecutorial discretion, malice prosecution, retaliatory prosecution. Because I was making a documentary about your courts, your judges, and your lawyers. And if you go to Senator Ben Cardin's, he got this. Senator Ben Cardin's got it. The Maryland caucus got this. And Congressman Cummings was asking for an investigation. Now quite AC and Fume did. See the judges, Scott Schellenberger, public defender, y'all working together, Marilyn Mosby. So Nick Mosby, Pam Woods, and that's Donald Trump. Donald Trump sent the Secret Service to my house. That's the Secret Service. That's Donald Trump. Get ready to flush careers down the hole. Like I said, Monopoly, the cheaters edition. All right, go to jail, go directly to jail. Do not pass gold. Yeah, we want all this information out before the 2024 elections because I'm an activist, I'm not a terrorist. Go to Senator Benjamin Brooks and get my, my, my paperwork. Go to Johnny Oleski, get my paperwork. Go to Nick Mosby and get my paperwork. Go to Bill Henry and get my paperwork. Go to Ivan Bates and get my paperwork. We're going to see who's going to snitch on who. We're going to see who's going to snitch on who.